Here's the next question. It's a very simple question. He had three, but uh, it broken. he had three different ones. So I'm going to do the first one. Why are church buildings not pagan? Why are church buildings not pagan? Okay, so we do not believe that it is pagan because look at 1 Corinthians 14. 1 Corinthians 14. So we're going to explain here why church buildings are not pagan. Why church buildings are not pagan. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And we're going to look at verse 34 through 35. Verses 34 through 35. All right, now... As we turn to this passage, here's something that you've got to understand, which many people misunderstand. This is a trick question. So the idea it is, is this. It is incorrect and also confusing to say church building is pagan. Why is that? Because the idea is this, is that it's not church building that makes it pagan. What makes a building pagan? Pagan is not church building. It's what? If it's a pagan building. If it's a pagan building, that's what makes it pagan. But not church. That's the thing. If you have a church in a building, that doesn't make it pagan. I mean, look, if Sean, Sister Christine, a bunch of brethren in Christ, and even myself get together and we're inside a building that's a church in a building right Amen. so does that make it automatically pagan no the church is not pagan it's holy and clean but if the building is pagan see that so there are pagan elements inside there are pagan decorations around it that's what makes it pagan see that why because it's simple english it's simple english which is kind of a like a duh statement it's like a duh statement that's why it's confusing and misleading to say this see that Amen. Because why? Because this does not equal pagan. That doesn't... What does this mean? It means church in a building. This is what means pagan. See, look at the words. Pagan means pagan. Church means church. See that? So that is very confusing, misleading, and very incorrect. So here's another thing you got to notice. If these people say that church buildings... Church buildings that there is no such thing because a church is the body of Christ, then why do they say church building is pagan thinking the church is a building? See that? They're, they're confused. Amen. They made it confusing. They actually teach this is not a, a, the building itself. It's a body of believers. Well, if they believe that, then why do they consist this together and call it pagan when it's not? They're supposed to be separated. See, the issue we got to look at is not this. What we got to look at is this. See that? Let me ask you this question. Is a building sinful? No, a building is not sinful. Otherwise, you should not live in a building. All right? Everyone can agree with that. Amen. Do you shop inside a building? Yes, Amen. there's nothing wrong with that. All right? And there's nothing wrong. Okay, if this word is not simple, is sinful, let me ask you this other word question. Is this word sinful too? No, this word is not sinful. Okay? This word is not sinful. This word is not sinful. So when you put these two together, it is not sinful, okay? Now, let me ask you this question. Let's say you add this. This is not sinful, right? But let's say you add this. Does that make it sinful? Yes. Then it becomes sinful. See that? Then it becomes sinful. See, this is very basic English that they actually mess up in. Now, the problem is this, is that the problem is that the Bible never condemned the church to have a building. The Bible never did, not even one time. As a matter of fact, there are many verses, absolutely so many verses, that show that God acknowledged them to have buildings. God acknowledged them to have buildings. Look at all the verses, it shows it. Now, here's... The, the statement they bring up, which is another misleading trick question that tricks you, see? Some would argue that, no, it's not a separate building that they had. It was their own homes that they had church in. Now, it is true, until the third century, that's when pagan buildings came out, okay? Okay? pagan buildings came out and then the church started gathering there 
but before the third century, they had church in their own homes, they're going to say. Now, you know why that's another misleading, confusing statement? Because here's the thing. The Bible actually shows that when they had a church meeting, that it wasn't their own homes a lot of times, too. It also shows that. So we're going to look at several verses. Let me explain a little more, all right? This will clear up a lot. Look at 1 Corinthians 14, verse 34. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 34. Let your women keep silence in where? The churches. Okay, so you got to keep silent in the church. What is that the woman's own home? No, because look at the very next verse. Look at the very next verse. Look at verse 35. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at where? Home. home. See that? So a woman is not in her own home when this happened. But they are doing at some sort of building. See? They are doing at some sort of building when they're gathering together. Here's the idea. This is what clears up the problem. Look at Philemon 2, Philemon 2, and 1 Corinthians 11. Philemon 2 and 1 Corinthians 11. Philemon 2 and 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Here's the easy answer that clears up everything. All right, People, they make this very complicated. They make this complicated, confusing, and then people are trying to find verses where it's actually some sort of steeple where they have the service or some kind of stuff. No, God never did that. He made it very simple. Here's the idea. If you look at 1 Corinthians 11, and you're going to look at Philemon, you're going to notice this. They had their meetings either in a person's own little house or in a very large structure. Huh. So here's the point. The point is this. They did have buildings. Because do you know what building means? <laughs> they think it means some sort of steeple with a Catholic Vatican stamp on it. No. Do you know what building means? It's very simple English. You can even look up in the dictionary. It'll say a building can refer to a home or large structure. Isn't that easy? God made it that simple. But then here comes some of these people who make it so complicated and confusing that church building is pagan because we're talking about this kind of idea where it's pagan and a steeple with the Catholic crosses all around it, etc. Look, they made it so confusing. Don't make it confusing. Let's go back to basic ABCs now in That's English. Right, what on. does building mean? If they believe that churches had services in their homes, you know what a home was? It means a building. Amen. And not only that, they didn't have it in their... you got to realize this. They didn't even have it in their own homes. See that? They couldn't have it in their own homes. They had it actually in large structures. They did have it in large structures. So let's look at two verses. So the simple ver idea is this. It's very simple. The church met in buildings. It's that simple. Whether it was a small little house of somebody or it was a very large structure. Let's look at right here. Philemon... And we're going to look at two. And to our beloved Aphia and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in where? Right. Thy house. So you see that? So right here, why doesn't it say it's in their own home? But in, a, in another passage, it is one's own home. Because you got to realize this. It was all kinds of buildings at times. See that? Whether it was a small little house or a large structure, I mean, if, even if you read passages in the Bible where the Christians were hiding out from Roman soldiers, they were doing it in somebody, they were doing like underground or different places. They went all kinds of buildings, all right? They went to all kinds of buildings trying to run away. They went everywhere, all right? They went everywhere. Look at 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11. Does this look like somebody's little house to you? Look at 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 18. Verse 18. For first of all, when ye come together in where? See that? So there is some sort of building that they're meeting in. All right? But it's not somebody's own little house. It's not limited to that. Because look at verse 20. Verse 20. The Bible says, When ye come together therefore into one place... This is not to eat the Lord's Supper. So they meet together as well. Look at verse 22. What have ye not houses to what? Eat and drink in, or despise ye the church of God. See that verse? They weren't meeting at their own houses. This was a different place. Who was he speaking to? The whole Corinthian church. 
They all met together. You think they all squeezed in one little building. <laughs> And they weren't even meeting in their own home in that verse. See that? So let's not make it complicated, okay? That's right. Let's just make it simple because the King James Bible is always simplicity. Mm -hmm. Until somebody, some people think they're very smart and they make it more confusing. And then they make the doctrine confusing. That's right. It's very simple. Churches met in buildings. It's that simple. Amen. So whether it was a, 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 what does building mean? A, B, C. It can be a home or a large structure. That's a matter of fact. And then when the third century came, what happened? Pagan. See that? Pagan. See that? That word, pagan. That's what makes it pagan. A building is pagan when you put pagan in there. A building is not pagan when you put the church in there. It is never pagan. I am not against people having church services inside the house or in a large building. Actually, we even do both. We've done that for seven years. Amen. We do meet. We have church services in the house and we have church services in large buildings. We do that. Hey, I'd even do it outside if I have to. Amen. All right. So remember, that's what you got to be scared of if, that, if it's pagan in there. But if it's a church, then it's not. So when you see all these glamorous churches where they have all these structures, architectures, pagan stuff decorated all around it, and not only that, pastors going so much in debt just because of buying some kind of church property, etc., that is something that is condemned. Why? Because one, God condemns idolatry. Two, God condemns Christians going into debt. So it is not worth getting a building when you go into sin. See that? But when there is no sin involved, notice that God acknowledges Christians meeting together in a building.